Hey guys, I'm Glitter Valkyrie, and today we are pulling for Julia on her legendary banner. Julia looks like an incredible unit, and her art is great, so we're doing this. I'm planning on sniping blue today because Julia color shares with two units that I really enjoy, so I'd be happy with any of them. Also, I don't really want any of the other units on this banner except for maybe a Gunther merge, so let's hope for lots of blues. The last time I summoned on a mythic slash legendary banner, I hit a 13.5% pity rate, so my goal today is to not do that. So let's get started. Okay, starting with one blue. Normally I would pull the full circle on the first round, but honestly, I really don't want the other units on this banner. I actually have most of them and I'm a bit of a collector, so there's really little motivation for me to pull anything other than maybe a green because I use Gunther all the time. So we'll back out. And we get one blue again. It's actually really lucky for me that um, most of my desired units color share, so I don't have to worry about spreading myself too thin with other colors. Well, <laughs> desire sensors are in full effect. This kind of situation really makes me wish for summon tickets to help with mitigating the cost of sniping. Another three star, Florina. I really would be happy with any of the blue focus though. Um, Naga is my spirit animal, being the sparkliest dragon in the game, and I would be cool with another copy of her. And Tiki is just amazing. Mine is unmerged and she still wrecks everything. And we get a May. All right. I actually have really been enjoying May's new refine. My Anima Season AR Defense theme team brings me a lot of joy and very few defense wins, but it makes me happy and that's what matters. I finally found a use for Duma that I feel okay with because, you know, I feel kind of cheap using units that I don't care for. Well, I guess we're going green. <laughs> Please be Gunthra. She is so incredibly useful and I like her hair, so I'd be totally cool with her showing up. Except it's the three star burst. Okay. We'll back out. What was I talking about before burst? Oh, <laughs> my AR defense team. I went with the classic Alm Selica Bowie May, and then I went with Duma and Fallen Burkut. It just made sense to me. Eventually, I'm gonna have to give up that warding stance for, but for now, the team makes me smile, so I'm keeping it. My initial plan was to give warding stance four to Dancing Xander, but I thought about it, and my bunny Xander is actually a really great res tank, so I don't necessarily need Dancing Xander to tank mages. I mean, no guarantee that I won't do it in the future, but I made some other poorly thought out decisions for him instead. I have recorded my summons for Dancing Xander, and now I'm just working on editing it. It was quite a long journey, so it's taking me a little while to edit, but I'm hoping to have it out in the next week or so. We'll pull the one blue here. And it's best girl. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm gonna do with her now that she's plus 10, but always happy to see her. Okay, we're at 9%, not too bad. And really, I'm not shooting for the stars today. If I get something before 13.5 and it isn't minus attack, it'll be an improvement over the Sothis experience. And we get a three star Robin. We'll back out. Oh no, uh, I guess red? Roy is there, so that's bonus doubler and Elise is there too, um, but I do already have her. And it's a Soleil. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we will get out of this circle. And one blue again. <laughs> There's smoke. And it's Thea. I've seen a couple of really strong plus 10 Theas lately, and I really didn't expect her to be as strong as she is. The blue flyer pool is so saturated that I guess I didn't think about it, but she is really, really good. I can't say that she's on the plus 10 list right now, but she definitely took me by surprise. And 
And um, I actually just completed another plus 10 project of my own today. Uh, I did get a lot of feathers from Xanderfest, so I decided it was time to put them to good use. So the newest member of the shiny gold border club is Klein. I should have done a green since my only plus 10 green is Rayson, but I followed my heart and you know what, no regrets. I beat Julia's legendary hero battle with him, Sarah, and um, two Azuras, and it was incredibly satisfying. Three blues, finally. So um, <laughs> my Klein was merged to plus one forever. And um, even though I have several archers, he's always one of the ones that I use the most. These days I play a lot of arena assault because it's a great way for me to use a lot of the characters that I might not normally. At this point in the game, I've got a pretty big collection and you can't use them all. Um, so it's really nice to be like, hey, Clive can probably kill that infantry sword. I used to not enjoy it so much, but uh, now it's actually one of my favorite modes. And you can get a lot of feathers from playing, which is nice. So on every arena assault run, I always end up using Klein because I run into like 10 million averses on my runs. All right, I feel a mist coming here. It's happening. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we get a Libra. Pull back out of the circle. 10% and about 100 orbs in. Hopefully we're gonna get something soon. And what was I talking about? Um, oh, Klein. Um, he was always useful to me at plus one, especially with his Argent bow, and now he's really, really useful at plus 10. It also helps that I love him as a character, so even though it probably wasn't the greatest decision to make another colorless plus 10, it kind of was because I'm happy. And that's just kind of how I play this game. There's smoke. And best girl's back. <laughs> okay, we'll back out again. We're below 100 orbs now. Here we go. <laughs> Please let Julia be here. Dragon killers have such incredible utility in arena assault, and I know that I would just get a ton of use out of Julia. And that's not Julia, it's Silas. <laughs> I use my base Julia and her mom in every single run of Arena Assault. Actually, um, Naga is another unit that I use a ton and her dragon effectiveness is so much fun to play around with. Okay, hopefully Julia's here or a Tiki. I would love a Tiki. It's three star. <laughs> it's Effie. <laughs> All right, last one. Oh. <laughs> oh, magic is everything. Okay. <laughs> That's usually what happens on circles like this. We're at 10.5%. We're starting to get up there. Starting to get flashbacks to the Sothis banner. So now um, I guess I'm going to have to decide on another plus 10, and I think that Lelina might be next. I've got a couple of merges on her, so... That one will be a little bit less costly. I've thought about my green options too, and I don't really think there's anybody that I would love as much as Rayson, but I really should make another one. I guess we'll back out again. <laughs> I think the top contenders for a green plus 10 for me are Faye and Frederick right now. Faye because she's an adorable chicken and I feel like she'd have a lot of utility, and Frederick because he comes with a hammer and I love him as a character. All right, <laughs> it's a Robin. We're backing out again. And we only have enough for like three more full circles. So aside from being excited um, about my plus 10 merge project, I'm also excited for the next update for basically two reasons. One, we get a free Ninian and she's one of my favorites from FE7, so that's awesome. And two, Brave Lucina is finally getting an upgrade to Gears Kogel. 
She was my free pick in CYL and she's been very, very power corrupt. So I'm super hyped that she'll have a chance to shine. All right, we're at 11%. <laughs> Please be here, Julia. Um, I'm also gonna be interested to see what they do with Brave Ike as well. I've pulled a lot of Ikes since his release and I've only sacrificed one to my Chrome. So we'll see if he'll be worth putting a merge or two on. And Brave Lynn really didn't need a refine, but sure, <laughs> I get that they had to do all of them. It's cool that Elliewood is included in the refines because of Roy. Um, actually, I don't have Brave Roy, so maybe I'll be able to try it out on that Elliewood that I five-starred to make myself feel better about not getting the legendary one. Okay, three blues here. I will take any of the blues at this point. Just break my pity, please. <laughs> Laura Shell, you didn't come home for like seven months straight and now we get three times in one day. And we get another Silas. We have smoke. Oh, Claire. Am I gonna end this with no five star? I guess it's possible. 11.5%. I do have like 75 orbs in the Orb Crescent piggy bank, but I kind of wanted to use them on more Xanders. I don't want to spoil Xanderfest, but I didn't get all the Xanders in my very long journey, so I can't promise that I won't go back in before the banners end. So we'll back out. No, oh, this is gonna break my pity. I can feel it. Please don't be a five star. Oh, <laughs> well, you know what? She is the best little sister, so I really can't complain. <laughs> um, the one that I do have has pretty perfect IVs, but we'll check this one. Plus defense minus res. Well, I guess I could merge her, um, or I think she actually has some pretty useful skills too. So now the question is, do I finish out the circle? Hmm. I had a pretty high pity rate, but I really want Julia. Maybe if I pull the red, I can get a Roy. I, I don't want anything in colorless, so why don't we just do the red? I feel good about this. No, I don't, it's a three star. Okay, <laughs> at least it's Hanada. Okay, we'll back out. Well, I have exactly 20 orbs left. Do I do the smart thing and say goodbye to the spanner forever? Hmm, I just, I feel like I'm gonna get something. You know what, I'm doing it. Okay, this was not a good idea. It's able, <laughs> but I'm here, so we're doing it. Yes! <laughs> Her sparkliness was calling to me. I knew it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and uh, we can check her IVs. Oh, well, <laughs> she is minus attack. I don't know, maybe I can make her into like a cheerleader for AR if I start caring about score. <laughs> okay, so should I pull the greens? I think I'm gonna do it. Gunther could be there. All right, <laughs> I've been punished for my greed with Americ. Okay, gun throw right here. <laughs> and it's a Bowie, okay. Well, I am still glad that I went in for this final circle.
I didn't get Julia today, but she'll be back. And at least I got two five stars out of this. I hope that you guys had some great luck on this banner and were able to get Julia if you wanted her. My next video will probably be my slightly delayed 2K sub special with my Xander summons, and I'm hoping that I'll have it out in the next week, but editing always takes me way longer than I think it will, so I'll do my best. And as always, thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.